it's Saturday night. What are your big plans? Well, mine are going out to sushi with my girlfriends, and then we're gonna go to a bar. <laughs> Yeah, right. In all reality, we're all sitting at home, we're all doing the same thing, and we're all doing the right thing. If you follow my Facebook or my Instagram, you know that I make pretty elaborate meals for my family. However, who's got all that time and who's got all the supplies? You may have all the time right now, but you may not be able to run to the store and get a bunch of supplies to make, you know, like a three, four course dinner. So I decided to show you how to spruce up store-bought pasta sauce. This is not typically what I prefer to use. However, it's convenient. A lot of us have it, so I'm gonna show you how to zhuzh it up a little bit. I already have some garlic sauteing and olive oil. We're gonna get there in a second. Use carrots, celery, mushrooms. I decided to go with onion and celery. I'm gonna put some onion in with the garlic to saute. I browned the garlic because I had it on high. You don't have to brown your garlic. I do like the taste of that smoky toasted garlic though in my sauce. You're gonna put this on um, about a medium heat. I'm gonna leave this like this for a few minutes, okay? And then I'm gonna come back and put the celery in there. In the meantime, we're gonna use store-bought pasta sauce. And of course, you're looking at me and thinking, well, if it's already pasta sauce, why do we need to add anything to it? Blech. Because you or your family is probably sick of eating the same tasting sauce every night. And I swear, blech. this just gives it a little um, blech. um blech. So olive oil, if you have oregano at home or rosemary, if you don't have those, maybe Italian seasoning is fine too. And and you're gonna need some red wine. So I'm gonna empty this out, Whoop, okay, in here. And I'm going to have it on between a low and medium heat. It's just gonna sit here and simmer. So now we are going to add the celery to the onion and the garlic. Now, while this is sauteing, I'm going to add some salt. And how much salt, of course, is entirely up to you. At this stage, if you wanted to add some chicken stock or vegetable stock, you could do that. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is actually add just a tiny bit more olive oil. Okay, so I'm going to actually turn this on high. You know, come back every so often to check on it, right? Like you don't have to babysit it. Cause I'm sure you've done plenty of babysitting during this quarantine and you know, babysitting your kids, your husbands, your partners, your lovers, babysitting your bottles, no kidding. <laughs> While that's going on, ta-da! I have a martini glass chilling. You know why? Because that means I'm gonna make a quick cocktail while that's happening. So I had some pomegranate liqueur and I have some vodka. This is basically like a pomegranate martini. Let's see how it tastes. I have not made this in advance. So, you know, we're gonna try this together. So I'm going to do, you know, the, the one and three quarter ounces of the pomegranate. You know, the one and three quarter, and then another half of vodka. I am going to squeeze fresh lime juice in there. You get where I'm going with this. This is probably gonna taste pretty tart. Because this pomegranate liqueur is pretty tart itself. So if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of our trusty friend, simple syrup. I don't think I'm going to, but you definitely could. And I have a feeling that probably bars add simple syrup to it. Okay, I'm just gonna add this ice to it. And see, you always have time to make yourself a cocktail, even while you're making your family dinner. That's pretty. And then of course, I have to put a little garnish in there. So we're just gonna put Ew, that sucked, no. We're just gonna put a little lime slice. There we go, okay. Let me see how it tastes. This is really good. It's a little bit on the strong side, which I appreciate. I'm sure you do too. However, I could see some people maybe needing a little bit of sweetness to cut through the tartness, but I like tart because I'm kind of a tart myself. Okay, so back to the sauce. So you see that your onions are starting to sweat a little bit, your celery is starting to soften up a little bit. Look how pretty that looks. And by the way, if you wanted to, you could add ground beef, ground chicken. You would have to cook that separately and put it in the sauce. I'm making it meatless so I can actually have it. Just a few more minutes and then I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna dump it in the sauce. No judgment, if you wanna drink while you're cooking, honey, this is the time to do it during this coronavirus quarantining. This is ready. I'm going to put this directly into the sauce. Here comes the fancy part. Blech. You're going to deglaze the pan. You're gonna see a lot of smoke right now, okay? And that's okay. Okay, all right, that wasn't as dramatic as I thought. Bam. 
So we are going to let this sit on high literally for a few minutes. I'm going to grab the Italian seasoning that I have. I'm going to add it to this. This is salt free, so you can add as much as you like. You see that already looks like a heartier sauce. It just, you know, it looks like it was entirely homemade. Again, this is this only took us a few minutes. I'm gonna add the wine to the sauce. All right, stir this. If you want to thicken the sauce, uh, you could add tomato paste. I don't recommend adding flour. And especially if you're not used to working with flour to thicken sauces, it's not, it's not easy. You could let the sauce simmer for about six minutes and it will reduce and it will thicken up a little bit. So you could use any kind of pasta. I'm not gonna make the pasta, I don't need to. I just want to show you how to zhuzh up your sauce a little bit. So in the amount of time that it would take for you to ponder the meaning of your life during this quarantining and isolation, we literally zhuzhed up our tomato sauce and made a cocktail. I mean, it took like, no time at all. And the sauce is nice and thick, girthy, thick, thick. And again, it, it looks so much fancier than it just coming out of the, out of, I can't talk anymore. Come taste this. Come here. That is way better than store-bought. Right? You don't have to just say that because you're quarantined with me and have to deal with me 24 seven. Not at all. Not at all. You loved it. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Enjoy your cocktail. Enjoy the pasta sauce. Cheers. Stay safe. Stay home. I'll see you soon.